Kinda. <laughs> This week guys, after you saw that video the other day of those sort of few new parts that I bought, um, we're going to be starting to faff around with the back here. So we're going to be getting rid of the rear seats so I will not have any passengers in the back anymore as, uh, as much as of a disgust that is to him. Um, it will just be the front two seats so everyone driving Harrison around and stuff like that and we're going to have the front suit two available because we're getting rid of the back ones, we're going to utilise that rear boot mat uh, and test fit the half cage that you should have seen. Um, because I'll do these videos in that order um, so you can see what I've bought and then we're going to be looking to test fit it today um, but obviously I need to get it sprayed I need to buy bolts and spreader plates um, and stuff like, yeah, like, like that I need to sort of source it really but I want to get these back seats out put it in um, and sort of yeah just have a look really I'm too excited so I need to get the back seats out positive and negatives of getting rid of the back seat obviously a massive negative is that you can't have three people in the back anymore it turns your five-seater kind of i know it's a bit tight in the back here but it turns your five-seater obviously into a two-seater um other negatives I, yeah well i suppose that is the one main big one really positives you're going to get loads more room in the boot so obviously if you're not if you're not having people in your car that often um, you're gonna have that little bit more in your boot weight saving not particularly these back seats are mine these sort of cup back bench and seat um, aren't very heavy at all. I don't know what the other seats are like, like the half leather ones, um, but I suppose there's a little bit of weight saving going on there, so that I suppose you could count that as a positive. Also, you can have loads of boot room as well. Obviously, currently, boot size, I'm not gonna get any technical figures, but if I get in, this is like a good body's size boot space. So one body. And then I can guess you can get yeah, three good bodies in there. So if you're counting bodies, four bodies. Whereas when this seat will be removed, you have plenty more room, say, so put all the bodies in there you want. <laughs> so that's what we're going for. More room, easy packaging, more race car. What more could you want? But I'm just well excited to get that cage in here. As soon as I saw it online, I was like, don't do it. You don't need it, John. Then, uh, Obviously Fletch gave me the wheel, so that was a big incentive for me um, to push for more of a safety device. Yeah, just those two in there that I need to take out. It just falls out. So much easier without that horrendous middle bar. And then this beauty. Freedom. Come on, baby. And already we got so much room for activities. He's in. As dark as it may be. The only funny part is this little corner. Obviously it needs to settle and sit down in the middle, but for £35. On eBay, you just type in clear 182, clear 172 rear boot mat, um, and this is what you get. I'd say for like 30 odd quid. It's pretty decent. Just to be taken out the majority, we need to take all, out all the plastic, so this needs to come out. I need to undo the front two seat belts as well. Um, so what I need, and if you wanted to obviously do this as well, unless we're watching the video, a um, 17 mil socket to get all the nuts. I need a, four, a T40 Torx bit um, for down the bolts on these um, driver's seat belts. T20 um, for all these little uh, screws that are in this part here. And obviously the rest of it will just pull out and yeah we just need to take all those black seat belts out i've got myself a nice big cardboard box and um, we're just going to chuck it all in there so yeah we're just going to strip out uh, all the bits all the bolts and all the belts and etc just whip the passenger seat out got to do the front seat because i've tried to i could see if i could make it with just the one seat out, but there's no chance. I do need to get the driver's seat out as well, but I'm just taking it off through the 13 mil uh, nuts. If you've seen quite a few videos, I've taken the seats out. Uh, there's just five on each that you've got to take out and just pop the seat out and leave the rails in. That's how I do it anyway. So I just need to get the uh, that seat out. But before I take too much of the back out, I just wanted to see sort of if the cage would fit with the plastics in or anything like that. Um, obviously this side I've started stripping, but then sort of halfway through I went, oh, I wonder if, I've measured it and it'll be close with the plastics on that side there. So that's why I think people obviously get rid of them and change them for track door cards and stuff like that. So I'm just going to whip that seat out now and yeah, we'll see if it fits uh, without. I'm pretty sure they sit on there, there 
and then down in the carpet here. I want to keep all this carpet, but I don't know if I should just cut a square out or something like that. I don't really know what to do, but we'll see. This is the whole point in test fitting to just sort of boggle my brain and boggle your guys' brains as well down in the comments and see what you think would be the best idea because I don't want to go full stripped race car if I don't have to because then it looks like the bag. <laughs> Let's see if we can lift it in. Kinda. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get it any better than that without taking more out, but... Cool. So I've definitely, definitely got to do something with the carpet at the front, whether I just roll it back for now and I'll see if I can do a fancy little cut around the cage when it's in or something like that, is what I would like to do to make it look pretty-ish at the front. Just to keep all that carpet there and then maybe... Uh, Maybe when that plate's in, I can just, I don't know, do some sort of cut as a square and just lift a flap up or something. I don't know. That's what I want to do anyway. Something like that. Because I would like that carpet to be still there. As you can probably tell, I don't have a clue what I'm doing when it comes to this sort of thing, but I think the plan of action is to move it back a bit or take it out, because obviously I need to take all the parts off and I need to mark where it goes, but I'm going to take out all of the plastics, all of the belts, everything for now um, and just completely strip the back. reboot mat is, is the way so I've just taken everything out now just to get everything just away for a minute just to help me think and I'm gonna keep it out for a while but uh, I'm just gonna try and lift up the cage again after I'm also gonna try and cut with my standing knife <clears throat> get all this sellotape and all the bottom pads off just to see where it sits in place I put duct tape down everywhere and I got myself a cheeky sharpie because obviously I'm thinking as soon as I take this out I want to know where the holes, well, where I'm going to need to be drilling and stuff like that. Um, and then I only have to sort of test fit the cage and hopefully it should go back to the similar places. But I just want to circle all the places um, that it's going to be going and draw around. The squares, I don't know if that's just me being OCD or whether it's a good thing, but I just thought while it's in now I might as well um, do it. I'm not, don't think I'm going to drill the holes yet. I'm just going to wait for the cage to be painted and back in. Then I can quickly drill the holes, put the spreader plates underneath. I think it's the best way to do it and then tighten those bolts up um, but yeah looking quite cool <laughs> is like I said I there's no sort of videos to reference to obviously people have done it so I've been zooming in on pictures and stuff to try and sort of see how other people have done it and sort of yeah kind of catch it out that way but we're getting there slowly but surely um, and yeah that's what I'm gonna do now is mark all the holes I'm gonna get the cage back out um, put the seats back in and that'll sort of do for now until we get to painting um, but yeah I've taken all the feet out so I know exactly where each of the holes are like I said just going to scribe around and then I'll uh, get the cage out for tonight all I've done to sort of square it up because again I didn't I've never done one before so I've got the tape measure from there to the edge is 2.8 and I've measured it to the same that side so I know that these are level up the back two are pretty much the same I've just got to push this over slightly to the right to bring that one over with it uh, when I mark those holes and then it'll be five centimeters to the side and five centimeters to the side so just sort of squaring it up like that and I believe that's all I have to do I think <laughs> <laughs>